For more on this story, I'm joined on the set by lawyer Edouard Salsas. So you specialize in international arbitration, and you're a member of both the Madrid and the Paris bars. I guess my first question for you is, are these moves from Madrid legal? Can the national government intervene like this, deem this kind of referendum illegal? Well, this is uh, a very good question, and uh, a lot of people are now claiming that uh, the measures taken by the Spanish government are being disproportionate. Um, they have sent letters to the media, uh, forbidding to, uh, to publicize this referendum which is completely against uh, uh, the, the freedom of, of speech and the freedom of to inform. Uh, they have seized uh, private correspondence from uh, the regional government to private persons informing about the referendum. And now we're seeing that they, they have arrested several uh, political uh, people from the Catalan government uh, in order to prevent this referendum to happen. This is uh, unprecedented in, uh, in, uh, in European Democrat, democratic history, and it's happening in the very heart of Europe, and uh, and well, um, I think that that uh, everybody will have to draw the, the necessary consequences of these actions, which uh, are unprecedented. So, what would those next uh, consequences be? Would the EU have to get involved from a legal standpoint? Well, I believe that uh, at this point, uh, both sides have forced this situation. Uh, the Catalan government has called for a referendum. Uh, which was approved in the Catalan uh, parliament, but not in the Spanish parliament. So it, it is not an agreed referendum, as it happened in, in Scotland. And uh, the Spanish government has, has uh, forbid this referendum. And it's a, a dead end. So basically, there, there's, there's a need for a mediation and the European Union, I guess, that needs to intervene. Importantly, um, following these this recent movements from the Spanish government, uh, a very relevant political party, Podemos, which was a party that was in the middle between the two, um, has uh, now uh, rallied the, the independent uh, independence uh, side in the sense that they are, they, they are claiming that people should be able to vote. Then uh, the, the question asks is, is a very different question. It's a very different debate if yes or no for independence. But the possibility to vote, it's something that now looks like not only uh, the, the majority of the people, according to, 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 to polls, but there's a, 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 a political majority to call for this referendum. So basically, we'll have to wait if uh, somebody in the European Union or outside this very tense context uh, takes the lead in this mediation, because it now becomes uh, necessary and urgent to mediate in this in this issue. So let's say that this referendum, to hold a referendum, was held, and then the referendum itself was held. Do you think that it would pass? Uh, if the referendum is held, uh, I believe, and all the polls uh, say, that, that, that uh, the, the, the yes will win, and will win by a vast majority. Uh, the, the issue now is whether the people who, who are against the referendum will actually go to vote. Let's say if uh, more than 50 percent of the people called to vote will go to vote. Before uh, these actions from the Spanish government, the independent and the, 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 the camp pro-independence uh, did not have this majority of the people, of the general people who would participate in the referendum. Uh, now that Podemos looks like it, it, uh, it needs to be subject to, to modifications in the future, but it looks that they have joined this pro-referendum side, not pro-independence, but just pro-referendum to vote, right. then the more than 50 percent will, they will, they would obtain more than 50 percent of the, of the census and more than 50 percent of the votes. And then uh, from an international and diplomatic point of view, this referendum would have a lot more of legitimacy. And then we would have to see what the European Union and the okay. European okay. chancellors will have to say uh, in, in, in light of these results. Edward Salsas, thank you so much for taking the time to come in and speak.